Right guys, so it's another instalment of the Ultimate X-Max build. Unfortunately, there is a bit of a jump. I seem to have lost some of the footage. Uh, I've also been waiting for some parts to arrive and I'll talk you through them now. So I bought some Integi hubs for this thing. Um, they turned out to be totally honest, to be complete garbage. Um, there's two different types, a cheap one and an expensive one. So, <clears throat> the rears were expensive and the fronts were cheap, but when I say cheap, we're only talking about $10, $15 difference. So, I was waiting for some more um, steering knuckles to arrive, which uh, have now arrived. So, these ones are $80 a set. The other ones were, I believe they were $60, $59.99. So I'm now going to install these. Also my shocks. Um, I've been trying out different shocks. There's actually a different shock on every corner of this car at the minute. Um, still not 100% on where I'm going with shocks. Although I have got a set of Integi um, X-Max shocks that I think is going to be my next uh, port call to put on and uh, see where I end up with them. Right. So, let's do these uh, up properly. Okay. So, it's a fairly quick and easy job to uh, change these over. I've already took the steering arm off because I originally fitted a stock plastic one, but I believe there's going to be too much uh, flex in that. So, just pull the top pin out, put it to one side. Keep that safe. I've got to do the same on the bottom. Okay. I'm just going to pop off this retaining spring. Screwdriver should just get in there and allow that to pop off. Now, obviously, you're going to reuse these bearings because they're brand new and they're my full ceramic. A little bit expensive. Absolutely stunning bearings, though. So, squeeze them in these new housings. They click in very nicely. Okay, so that's the bearings in. So I'll drop the top pin in to hold that in. There we are, just as I would expect, it's gone in very nicely. Now with these uh, Integi parts, you get these nice um, machined caps to go on the top instead of the plastic. So they should most definitely be going on. I'm going to do these up by hand, no need to metal on metal to machine them up too much. Okay. The next one's going to be the lower pin. So because it's underneath, I'll get the screw ready to hold that cap in place. Okay, so 
Again, that's gone in there, that's such a nice fit. Yeah. I mean, there's absolutely no resistance from that. That's quite nice, I'm quite pleased with that. Okay. So the next step is to add my Mad Max turnbuckles, toe links, steering links, whatever you want to know them as. Uh, these things are massive and they seem very well engineered. They slip and slide in and out, folks. So. There we go. So that's that now down and in place. And the next thing I'm going to do is adjust the shocks. So one. That's my two screws to hold the pins in. Removed. Push the top pin out first. And then the bottom pin. So this particular shock is a uh, Mad Max shock. I'm just changing for some Integi V4s. Should go and grab one of them. So this is one of the uh, Integi X Max shocks, piggybacks. Nice shocks. They seem to be got Pull the piggyback apart. When I refill them with oil, seem fairly good uh, mechanism inside. I'll do a separate video on that at some point. Um, now I've filled these with seventy weight oil all round. Um, we could, you could have arguments all day about weights of oil and so on and so forth. Uh, I've never run these shots before and I've never run an X Max of this weight or power. So I'm starting off at a mean average, uh, what I think will be uh, a good combination. So 70 all round. And then depending on how I get on when I run this truck, will determine whether or not I actually change to a different combination. And I certainly don't have any problems changing to a different combination if uh, that's what's going to end up with crime. Now that does feel. It's better than the Integi I've got on the other side, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now I've got that in place. Put these back on. Snap the little uh, C clip retaining spring into place. There we are. Right. I shall uh, just give you a close up of this before I uh, put the wheel on. So you can see there. So. That does look quite nice and meaty. You've got um, adjustment on here, but you've got these two screws here to clamp it in place. So you adjust this in accordance to your tow your wheels in and out. When you've done that, you clamp these in place and then it won't move. So I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to do the other three shocks and I'm going to do the other side steering arm. And uh, then we'll come back and have a look. Okay, so here we are. This is the completed article where we're at at the minute. I think it's now going to be a case of doing some testing before I add any more parts, change anything, and just see where I'm at with it really. So uh, my final gear ratio is 2550 <coughs> mod 1 using a TP custom wound 1225 kV motor to 58 series motor. The motor is absolutely huge. Um, I don't think you could get a bigger motor in this, to be honest. Fast laners, um, motor mount, superb. Fast laners, ESC mount. Gone for a hobby wing Max 5 ESC. Think I'm possibly going to change this up in the future. Got to see how I get on today. I might also add an additional capacitor pack in line with it. Um, 
using Castle Creations connectors. These aren't anti-spark, but you don't need to worry about that because it's built into the ESC itself. So Mad Max stereo assembly with a GDS uh, bell crank cover, Mad Max uh, tie rods, push rods, steering links, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I've got a T-bone bumping, uh, T-bone racing bumper somewhere. <laughs> if I can find it, it's hidden in a box somewhere. It's all my Integrity shocks uh, fitted as I was going through. Seventy weight oil, half a million weight oil front and rear discs. Full integrity hubs, casters and steering box, full stainless steel screws throughout, battery tray adapters, so we're using straps to hold the batteries down rather than the clips, so we haven't got to worry about the batteries coming out. We've got Mad Max wheels and tyres, so these are the Land Grippers uh, version 2s, not version 1s, so these are nice and light. We've got, probably can't see from here, but Mutra RC lights front and rear, uh, standard wheelie bar. We've got the Traxxas 2085X steering servo, um, so higher torque. I'm also running that uh, at 8.4 volts, I think it is, through the ESC. I'll plug the programming card on it at some point and check that. Um, we're about there. This has got no fancy under chassis lights or anything. Uh, just don't think it's going to need it. I want to keep the clutter down to a minimum with um, everything I've already got on it. Bearings, uh, full ceramic bearings in the hubs and hybrid ceramics on the outer diffs. The rest of the drive line's fairly stock bearing wise. I've got an Integi centre shaft, uh, or Integi, depending on how you like to pronounce it. I've got unlimited engineering hinge pins all round. Yeah, I think I think we're about about there, really. Dyed the chassis black. Um, so, last but not least, is the body. I hope you guys are going to like the body, because uh, I certainly do. So, it's an unbreakable body by... RC Maniacs, <clears throat> if you uh, want to purchase one of these and you're in the UK or near the UK, then um, contact myself and I keep stock of these. Now this has got a rack on it by Darkside Studios and you have to see this to truly appreciate. You might not, like the design might not be for you, but the quality of the rack is second to none. Now, big thank you to Nathan Catchin over at uh, Midwest Mad Max for hooking me up with this um, design. For what it's got Mad Max down the side, it's got it on the back. On the back of the tailgate, we've got RC Overdose, one of my favourite uh, Facebook groups. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. I bash this, I'm going to tear it up. Uh, completely agree. This vinyl is extremely thick, so it will take a bit of a hammering. But to be totally honest, this is more of a shelf cream body. I'm not normally for shelf cream stuff, but I will run this body and I will use it for the odd speed run and GPS run. And I'm going to use it today for the first bit of filming to show you guys this car in action. Um, after that, it probably will be a nice looking body and I'll go back to one of my other basher bodies um, for throwing the, uh, the chuck round like I normally do. So, <clears throat> hope that's helped. Apologise again, because some of the footage between this video and where it was has been lost somehow, but um, I've got another build in progress and I am filming that step by step. I learned a lot of lessons in filming this, um, you know, there's bits I missed, rubbish camera angles and things like that. So it wasn't really ideal. Uh, I didn't know uh, quite you know, what to do until I did it. I'm, I'm new to this. So the new build that I'm doing, uh, different camera angles, and it, it is, I'm filming it all real time, step by step. It's probably gonna be you know, quite a few videos altogether, but you'll be able to stop and follow that and um, create your own builds, so. Right, if you've liked that, please subscribe. 
hit the bell button for notifications on future videos, builds, tutorials, and bashing videos. Be sure to check out some of my older videos as well. There's some good stuff on there. Uh, if you go further back, there's some uh, quite big crashes and things like that. But uh, once again, thank you for all the support, guys, and I'll keep the videos coming.